So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're going to be taking a look at the audio files within World War II Zombies. These are things you can collect. And along the way here while I talk before we get into it, I'm going to show you all the locations of where you can pick this up. Now there's 22 actual audio files, but that's not how many recorders we're going to pick up. And there's four video files as well included in this entire package. And that includes Dr. Straub, so we're going to be seeing some really in-depth information here. So if you go on to learn anything today, drop a like on the video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So with the game now being out an official week, we've got our hands on the Easter egg, beaten the Easter egg. I have not personally, I've only beaten the casual Easter egg. But we're going to be comparing those notes with some of the research that other people have found as they've beaten this easter egg and we're going to gather all the information with these recordings and find out what's leading to a possible super easter egg I want to note a very few important details on the transcripts that you're going to hear that Klaus had reported to his sister this is information that she had received and heard there's more to this than buried treasure I've uncovered clues as to why the sword was taken apart why it was hidden and why it is made so inaccessible so it's interesting, Klaus does tell us that the sword was taken apart. And this is sort of what we know with the ending of the actual cutscene. But he goes on to say this, If Straub had chosen to work with me on this, I could have elaborated on why the art may contain clues we need to unlock the hilt. Okay, so the Super Easter Egg in Infinite Warfare, as we know, we went through and collected soul keys. In DLC 4, we unlocked a director's cut with the golden film reels. Now that, as we've previously discussed, is like the RK5 and MR6, the other half of the magazine. That easter egg is like the director's cut easter egg in Infinite Warfare. Now if we took it a step beyond that, we have the super easter egg where we go through and collect the talismans, and then have the easter egg, super easter egg boss with Mephistopheles. That is the big super easter egg, and I think that's sort of the same pattern we're seeing here. Let me explain. So we have a casual quest that takes us on a mission where Klaus dies. Ultimately, he doesn't spawn in at the end, but when you beat the hardcore version of this easter egg, he's alive. And he, his pathing's messed up right now, currently at the time of update 1.04. But we can expect that to be fixed and hopefully get the true ending to what it's supposed to be looking like and where he's actually supposed to be walking to. Currently, we don't know, and so we don't know how the ending actually occurs. But in transcript 20, the audio file, it says, First, look for the paintings created by those who would be opposed to the Nazi party. I have my suspicions that they would be the easiest to recruit into this effort, leaving clues on the paintings. Second, my research has led down paths that extend beyond Middleburg, beyond Germany, Murray. Prepare yourself for a journey. This hints at the greater quest, of course, but what if the greater quest is taken on a casual end, and then it's also taken on a hardcore end, so we have this Black Ops 2 type of path where you get to choose either to do the casual super easter egg ending or a hardcore super easter egg ending. Either way, you're gaining a hilt at the very end of the casual easter egg, but there's no ruby inside. Notice that there is no sort of ruby inside when you beat it just casually. It's very important to note. Most people probably wouldn't point this out, but there's something called a Robin Hers, and that Robin Hers is stands for Raven Heart. This is obtained in the Hardcore Quest. In the Hardcore Quest only, if you play the casual end, you will never get the Robin Hers, which is actually what saves Klaus Fischer's life. Looking at the hilt, which is a sword handle, that's what the definition of a hilt is, you can see the ruby that's in there post-hardcore easter egg. This is the Robin Hurst or the Raven Heart that you will need in order to obtain for potentially one ending to the super easter egg. So sit back, relax, we're going to listen to the official recordings and sort of break it down as we go through it and see what kind of clues we can get leading towards this super easter egg. So enjoy. Mariechen, if you're listening to this, then you have received my letters. I pray to God that you are okay. And that you come armed with the might of the Allied forces. I have so much to tell you. So much to say, but most importantly, I, I was wrong, so very wrong, about the Reich, about you, about everything. The Führer had asked for something exceptional for my staff. A soldier who does not rest, a soldier who does not fear, and a soldier who does not shy away from the shadow of death. I have found that soldier. 
or perhaps it is better to say that I have birthed him. <laughs> but I'm getting ahead of myself. I had begun to lose hope in our ability to find artifacts of significance. But then, divine providence, the discovery of a lifetime, the hill to the legendary sword of the Holy Roman Emperor, Frederick Barbarossa, the embodiment of German nobility, German power. The Ahnenerbe was sent to reclaim the sword piece for Hitler's personal collection. And they could not move it. Not with chains, not with tractors, nothing. When the mountain will not come to... I brought everything to the mountain. My tools, my stuff. The foremost weapons expert in the Wehrmacht. Gruppenführer Heinz Richter. Little did we know that we were about to uncover something that would change our understanding of the world. Even without breaking through the magnetic force surrounding this hilt, we have been able to siphon off vast amounts of energy. And this is where I made my greatest discovery. During one of my early experiments, an attempt to draw power from the hilt, a cable became overheated and snapped. It struck the pair of guards. They were killed instantly. They were dead. And then, they were not. I watched as the first soldier began to switch violently and then began walking towards me. And the corpse's intent was clear. It meant to kill me. <laughs> Luckily, more soldiers had arrived by then and were able to put it down. But I had seen something astonishing. I had seen death overcome. And I had seen a vision of our Führer's future. After I came home and took over our father's shop, I was angry, furious. Having to leave my studies at Heidelberg to care for him had been bad enough. But my mentor, my idol, Professor Lena, the man responsible for the Deutsche Physik, he chose to retire in my absence. My dream of playing a role in a German scientific renaissance, it was dead. I lost hope. It was a dark time. I know that our fights had turned ugly. We both said things that we didn't mean. I was convinced that the Nazi party held the brightest future of our people. And you only saw the darkness. You saw more clearly than I did. I don't blame you for leaving. I don't blame you for your silence. You had told me of your plans to defect the connections at Cambridge, and the plans to join the British Secret Service. You have always been clear in your goals, but mine have been shattered. I say this so that you will understand. Mariechen, I wept when they found it. When the workers came in from the mine, talking about what they had discovered. This artifact of legend. This was why I was here. This was my purpose, to bring the conqueror's mighty sword to our Führer. My life had meaning again. It was I who sent a message to the Nazis. My contact at the university put me in touch with Richard Dara. From there, it was only a matter of days before the Ahnenerbe rolled in with a full battalion of troops. I took Dr. Straub down to the chapel myself, showed him the hilt to the Barbarossa sword, was like touching a flame to gunpowder. Straub put Middleburg on lockdown, knowing our little village was the perfect cover. The townspeople were allowed to go about their lives, but they could not leave. They may 
mail was read, filtered, burned, or rewritten. Those who asked questions were shot. This... This is when I began to doubt my loyalties. The salt mines were converted into a laboratory. The sword piece, this hilt, would not budge from its resting place. The head of the troops, Gruppenführer Heinz Richter, would swear up and down the tunnels about this. It was all Dr. Straub could do to keep him from dynamiting the chapel into rubble. Those two, they were a bad combination. I presented myself to Dr. Straub with all of the zeal and the ambition I could muster. I knew that he would see how destiny had placed me at this right place at the right time. I presented him with my papers, some of the research I had done with Lenart. He, <laughs> he looked down his nose at me, said my work was amateur, poorly documented. But in the end, because I knew the area, he said I might be useful. Like a desperate fool, I was grateful for this. I thanked him. He knew of our father, Marie. He had heard of how father's weapon designs had helped the Kaiserliche Marine. But he laughed. Laughed that the brilliant Heinz Fischer had ended up making toys. I did not care to tell him that father had chosen to make toys as penitents. To bring joy where before his invention had brought only death. I should have listened to father. I should have listened. They have done horrible things here. Monstrous things. Straub is more twisted than you can imagine. So driven to bring about the final right that nothing else matters to him. He will stop at nothing, Marie. Straub was obsessed with the hilt. The strange physics rooting it to the mountain. Richter just wanted to make it into a weapon. From the very beginning they were at odds. This conflict brought about the ruination of everything. But also, my first glimpse of hope. Straub's focus was so all-encompassing that he missed some critical information. Information that was literally all around him. The chapel was more than just a resting place for this piece of the Emperor's legendary sword. It, well, it was like Father always told us, Marie. Art tells a story, and in the carving and the statue surrounding the hilt, I uncovered a tale I had never expected. Geistkraft. The name I have given this new form of energy. It can be conducted through the human nervous systems, activating the most primitive parts of the human cerebellum. The untoten are preserved by the same energy that drives them. There are machines now, muscles and bones, driven by the loyalty to their master. I have found that by triggering the pain receptors on these corpses, I can augment the soldier's strength and speed. As someone who has extensively studied the effects of pain, it was inspirational. I have found my purpose here. I am to bring pain to the world. I have been betrayed. Klaus has been sabotaging my work all along. He will pay. And that bastard Richter, the man sent to assist my work, to protect my facility, he has been seduced by the power of the weapon we can build with the Geistcraft energy. The Untoten have broken free. Four, no, five times now. We are so close to mastery here. So close to building an army. And what happened when their tanks come into view? Their mighty war machines 
I am building more than just rank and file soldiers. I am building something that will tear through the mightiest steel and knock the fortresses into dust. I have created the devil himself. <laughs> I have uncovered clues to why the sword was taken apart, why it was hidden, and why it was made so inaccessible. There are forces at work here that have existed outside of history, hidden forces, a secret, darker than even Herr Himmler dares imagine. Unfortunately, Straub came across a few of my notes on these possibilities. He flew into a rage and would only be mollified when I quoted his own words back to him. My work had been amateur, poorly documented. I was looking for more evidence. He went cold and left. It wasn't long after this that he started bringing stolen art into the bunker. You see, he had taken the root of my idea and run with it. If Straub had chosen to work with me on this, I could have elaborated on why this art may contain the clues we need to unlock the hilt. But no, Straub sees information as a weapon. He does not entrust it to anybody but himself. This is his greatest weakness. Mariechen, I cannot put this more succinctly. There are others, other forces aware of the sword, of its powers and they are actively working to keep it out of our hands. A secret organization, a cabal, dedicated to keeping this hidden. Soldiers, artists, engineers, I don't know how deep this goes, but Straub is now aware of this. You need to be aware as well. First, look for paintings created by those who would be opposed to the Nazi party. I have my suspicions that they would be the easiest to recruit into this effort. Second, my research has led me down paths that extend far beyond Mittelburg, beyond Germany. Now you can prepare yourself for a journey. That, that may be all I can share with you. Straub grows more suspicious of me every day. Dear sister, I have spent my time here preparing a way for you to defeat Straub and his evil. I have sabotaged his work. I have hidden weapons and tools that will give you the power to counter the horror that grows from beneath the mountain. My hope is that somehow you can forgive me. I, I must go into hiding now. I'm about to release Straub's most powerful weapon. I cannot promise that I will survive what happens next. But I pray it will open a way for you to find your way into this nightmare. And if you do, I have no doubt you will conquer it. This is your nature. And I will always admire this. Ich liebe dich, Marie. So there you have it. That's pretty much the entire storyline as we know it and understand it currently with the Final Reich. I hope you guys can take something from this. Whether you've collected a hilt with an actual ruby in it or a raven heart, you are on a path to something. And Klaus has prepared a way for us to defeat Straub and his evil, so that is where it's looking right now for the Super Easter Egg. Let me know what you think of this in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. Violin out.